Hello and welcome to a new video about safety, safety controls. Last time we talked about safety relays. This time we are really talking about safety controls. Safety controls are basically safety relays, however you can program the logic inside. It's not just switching on and off, you can do a little bit more stuff. This was born out of this request to do some logic also in the safety control. Okay. So, uh, basically they work like a PLC. So it's no wonder that they look like a PLC. Huh? Because the request was simply the same, programmable. And, uh, you know, safety already started with the programming. Huh? So there was only a limited choice of programming languages. So there is only a limited choice of programming languages. Simply to prevent coding errors. Okay, software failures. Already, everybody can focus on only some languages, yeah? and everybody is then be can get more expert yeah? than those programming language working better than if you if you make a broader approach. Yeah? This is already some security stuff. Okay? From the hardware perspective, it's uh, yeah, safety. Cut myself. From the hardware perspective, it looks pretty much like a PLC. However, internally there are two of them. Yeah? So there is there is one system on one side, yeah? system A. There's system B on the other side. They have their own process representation there. Yeah. They are then connected to the outside world. The outside world might also be connected red on tent or maybe same. Yeah. So this this here is the process representation, process representation. This is program. System A, this is program system B, yeah? and then there are outputs, yeah? also process representation, and we have also here process representation, and then we have an AND. And only if both outputs say, OK, switch on, we switch on. Uh, this is actually how this looks like. Uh, however, this is not all. Uh, this is simply not all. Because in between, there's a constant check, cross-check of memory and so on. Timing check if one is maybe taking a longer time to calculate, or also here cross reference check of the of the process representations. Yeah. Everywhere is checked between A and B simply to be, be sure yeah, that this is working the same way that we have everywhere the same answer to the question. Shall we turn it on or not? Yeah. This is typical for a safety approach. Do it twice. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the safety relay, but here now a program is running, which is constantly checked. Yeah? There's not only checked the program, there's checked the timing, there's checked voltage levels, there are checked the process representation, and if everything fits together, yeah, okay, working. Okay. So this is usually a safety safety control system. Yeah? Normally we do have some standard control system, PLC or something like this. Yeah. PLC. There are input and output cards there, 
and there is the output and then there is the safety control system yeah, with in and outputs and this will then be here switched yes or no and then we switch somewhere a motor also do it twice like we talked so this is standard and this is a safety PLC safety control this is usually how this looks or used to look yeah? because you know now this PLC is controlling this motor yeah? and we said uh, with the uh, there is then not only the PLC which is locally somewhere but it's distributed so the PLC got distributed over the system so also the safety control needed to be distributed somehow yeah? so if the PLC input and output parts are distributed in my system yeah? show you yeah? so there is the, the standard PLC yeah? input and output cards but with field bus they might be connected to I.O. devices which are somewhere located in the field so there are some I.O. devices yeah? they are connected to each other with some sort of field bus these are standard in and outputs standard IOs which are doing something okay and on the other side we did have or we do have the safe PLC or the safe control which its local input and output cards which deal with this one make approve or not approve yeah? and this is also communicating with bus system with the PLC because if they want the PLC wants to send some safe command into the field yeah? it needs to be somewhere on the safe side yeah? so there are also here remote IOs yeah? however safe remote IOs S are safe IOs, safe IOs yeah? and they are connected to the safety PLC with some sort of security bus yeah? they were then safe bus systems developed yeah? it made it possible to communicate with distributed hardware in the field in a safe manner they work a little bit different they have more overhead they have less speed however they are safe then okay and so those safe IOs yeah, they can make a proof to the standard IOs yeah, in the field okay this is usually then in the in a distributed area the benefit of this system here was that it was very clear what was doing the control and what was doing the, the acknowledge of the security yeah? security task control task yeah? here in this matter we have somehow a mixture here is coded something here is coded something because if I only have safe IOs it's I can already do it here yeah? I do not have to inform it. so this is somehow a mixture yeah? and also with, with standard IOs from the control system which are going to the safe control the timing how does the timing look well first we have the standard PLC cycle yeah? then we have the communication 
by bus here. Yeah? Then we have the cycle of the safe PLC. Yeah? Then we have the cycle of the safe bus and this is the timing of the PLC. Okay? This is the timing of the safe in and outputs. So the R is lower. Yeah? Because here we would have ended with standard IOs and here we additionally have to cross-check them with the, our safety PLC. Yeah? So another approach then was to have the standard PLC communicating to the distributed And we have the safe, safe control. Okay, pretty much the same situation. However, in the field, yeah, in the field, there are then devices which are mixed, yeah, which do have safe IOs and which do have standard IOs, and they are connected by the standard bus okay. and they are connected by the safe bus this is blue and the decision if something is switched on or not yeah, can be done by the I.O. part itself. Yeah? So there is the IO part, yeah? where mixed standard and, and safe in and outputs, yeah? and the PLC now is doing the control part, the SC is doing the checking part. If both say OK, then the output will be switched. Yeah? And now we have parallelized this thing, yeah? because we have the PLC cycle, yeah? we then have the communication via standard bus, yeah, just like here. However, at the same time, now at the same time, also the safe control can do its stuff. It can also transfer by safe system. And here, if both are ready, then our safe IOs can already write the outputs. Yeah? So here we have paralyzed, paralyzed these two steps. This is the benefit of this approach, however, you need these special I.O. items, okay? which can do the checking on their own. These are two possibilities. So these are then the, yeah, this is what a safe control can do. So you see, it's pretty, it's pretty something already yeah so it's not just switching it on and off yeah giving a proof yeah there is even safe communications but safe bus communication available yeah? so we could do practically the same things with safe control than with a plc yeah? safe control system is more expensive also also uh the bus system and so on this is special and does not have that high amount of data rate and so on so there are limitations however since the safety control is only covering the parts which needs to be safe and parts which do not really matter yeah if this is nice to have and does not really touch the safety of the machine yeah, then a standard PLC can still do its job yeah. so this is why the mixture is. Safe control systems. Do it twice. Okay, and check if you have the same result. Next time we're going to talk about another topic which is only safe, which is also safety related, related which is also safety related. Yeah? And this other topic is explosives. Yeah. Next time we make the boom. <laughs> yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.